So hi, welcome to Path Presenter, your online center for all things pathology. Created by pathologists for the professional education of pathologists, the platform brings back the fun and sexiness in pathology and empowers you to deliver stunning visual interactive learning experiences and connect with people and pathologists worldwide. You can start building presentations, quizzes, assessments, videos, group chats, conferences, and anything you can think of, even if you currently do not have access to any digital slide or any slide scanner. Let us walk you through the easy to use tools and how you can transform yourself and your department into an education powerhouse. Unleash your creativity and inspire the world. So you go to pathpresenter.net, you can register, it's a free registration. And once you log in, you're going to see a dashboard that shows you all these different tools that you can use in pathology. The, mice, the slide library provides you access to thousands of digital slides that have been divided into specialities, or you can even type in any diagnosis to find a specific slide. Once you type in the diagnosis, it will find multiple slides for that entity and you can then see the slide without downloading any software. You can take images from the slides by clicking on the camera icon on the top. So this is the camera icon. So you can just zoom into the slide. And if you need to take any images, you just click on the camera icon and it will take a snapshot of your screen that you can then use either for your presentations or for your publications. The full screen button allows you to make the, slide, the screen full screen and the rest of the tools allow you to annotate either freehand or draw uh, or draw looped annotation when you're either teaching from the slide. The my slide box is a file management system on the cloud. It is like your Dropbox or box with added capabilities for pathology and radiology. So it will allow you to upload any kind of whole slide image. Doesn't depend on what scanner you have. Any DICOM radiology image, as well as other file formats like JPG, PNG, MP4 files, videos, etc. So once the file has been uploaded, it doesn't automatically become the property of Path Presenter. It remains in your own private folder unless you want to donate it to the library. Any kind of whole slide image, any radiology DICOM image, any kind of video, any kind of uh, PNG file can be uploaded into the system and shared with people around the world. You can share entire folders with people around the world or you can share individual slides by using the share icon that will allow you to put an email address either to a single person or to a group or you could also just download the QR code or copy the link and then you can put the link either in social media or in somebody's email and once they click on that link they will immediately be able to open the slide. The QR codes can be also be put on posters and publications and journals for people to access the slide by just using their phones. The my presentation tool allows you to seamlessly integrate whole slide images, PowerPoint slides, radiology DICOM images, videos and other file formats into one spectacular presentation. Annotations can be created. So here is an example of a presentation that has PowerPoint slides, that has a the whole slide image, that has a radiology image and even a video all in one presentation. So to, to import any slide into the slide into this presentation, you just click on import and then you can import any slide either from the public library or from your own slide box. To upload a PowerPoint, you just upload any PowerPoint from your desktop. Once your slides and PowerPoint are in, then you can drag and drop the slides in whichever uh, order you would want them to present. You can share this presentation with anybody around the world and when you are presenting, you can actually also use the different annotation tools that are available on the viewer. 
So this will open up a PowerPoint slide and the radiology image and the DICOM image all in one seamless presentation. So here's the full screen button. You just use the right key on your keyboard to move from slide to the next. And this is like seamless integration of digital slides. So this is a digital slide. You can zoom in. You can actually annotate this slide, pre-annotate. And by just clicking on the down key on the keyboard, you can move from one annotation to the next and the right key on the keyboard to move from one slide to the next. So presentations can also be live recorded by using this record, start recording button and then the stop recording and it will then download as an MP4 file that you can then put either on social media or use for any conference. The high yield section that you see here allows creation of uh, self-learning modules that simulate being taught on a multi-edit scope. And for an example, we have created these high yield sections that you can see here. The GU has been created by people at Ohio State. Uh, the GI has been created at people at uh, Harvard. And we created the DOMPAD section. So these are handpicked cases that every resident should know before they finish their residency. So residents can either open this on their own or as a group and project this on the screen. And then when they look at the slide, they can first try to make up their mind what the diagnosis is. And once they have decided, they click on the case info button here, which gives them the diagnosis, microscopic features. And like, like on teaching on a multi-edit scope, these features are also linked to the slide. So when they click on these highlighted features, they would actually zoom into the slide and show that feature. There are associated clinical images for differential diagnosis. The slides will open up side by side for comparison. And then they can just move from one slide to the next and give them all the case info on the right hand side. The quizzes and the self assessments allow you to create testing modules for students that uh, can be easily then shared with people around the with with all your trainees the <coughs> the quizzes allows testing of uh, the self assessment allows the user to see the answers immediately after finishing the self assessment while in the quiz they have to first finish the quiz and then it is then uh, it goes back to the faculty who will then give an assessment that is sent back to the trainee. Backend statistical modules allow creating visual representation of progress that can be then used for evaluation. It's very easy to build, a, build an assessment and then share it with the world. You just say I want to create an assessment and then you put in all the features and then you can add the questions by adding digital slides or radiology images either from your slide box or from the uh, slide library. The group chat allows you to do live group discussions on the on the cloud. It has a mess WhatsApp like messaging feature that can be uh, that 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 would be that would allow messaging between the close group. So you can first create a group. Once the group is created, then you add your slides, and then within the slides you can then create annotations that would for areas that you would want to ask your group actually. So once you put a well, once you put in a question here, the entire group is going to get that question as a notification. And when when they log in and they can look at your question, and then when they click on that question, it will either it will zoom into the slide and tell them what you are asking, and then they can answer back in a WhatsApp like chat. The conference module allows you to create multi institutional conferences in which faculty can be invited from different organizations across the world to build and deliver lectures. Attendees can be provided with pre and post assessment quizzes, get CME certification, which also virtual with and also a virtual network with other attendees and faculties. So it's very easy to create a conference. You just say I want to create a conference and then you can add CME certification you can add the pre and the post assessment. You can invite your faculty and then the faculty can create the lectures. And then once everything is published, then you can invite the attendees to come and attend the conference and download the CME certification. <coughs>